Hello, my name is Devin Bonner, and today I will be talking about the idea of controlling images, um, specifically in regards to African American women um, and how this concept keeps them oppressed. To start us off, I will give you a general idea on what defines controlling image. Controlling images are very similar to stereotypes. They incorrectly represent a group of individuals based on preconceived notions. Along with that, they are designed to make societal injustices upon these groups of people seem normal. Oftentimes, people in authority will often um, use controlling images as an instrument of power and attempt to objectify the subordinate group. Although there are many groups of individuals that suffer from controlling images, I'm going to focus on the impact that they have on African American women in the U.S. Majority of my information will be coming from Patricia Hill Collins writing on Mammy's matriarch and other controlling images. She discusses how black women are stereotypically portrayed in negative ways. Um, when society maintains negative perceptions on black women, it helps justify their oppression and makes black poverty and issues look normal and natural to society. Oftentimes, black women are then accused of causing those black issues. There are seven different controlling images that black women get categorized into. The first one I will be discussing is the mammy. The mammy can be described as the faithful, obedient, domestic servant for white people. It is aimed to influence black maternal behavior in a way which white people can control and see as the desirable way for a black woman to live. If black women are not warm and nurturing, then they are punished for it, and society just wants them to be committed to their jobs. Along with that, this image tries to hold them down as it boxes black women into the service industry that white people can control and make her feel like she is contributing to a society when really she's just being oppressed. The matriarch is the next controlling image I will discuss. It kind of goes hand in hand with the mammy. The matriarch is actually viewed as the failed mammy since she rejected being a servant. It represents the so-called bad black mother and she is viewed as overly aggressive and unfeminine. Black women who failed to fulfill traditional womanly duties are then blamed for contributing to social problems for the black community. They are also stereotyped as emasculating their husbands, which society then justifies them being single mothers. In conclusion to that, these stereotypes lead to, lead to society to think that black people pretty much um, are responsible for black poverty in the U.S. because it is assumed that it is passed through generations. It suggests that the matriarch's children are raised poorly and lack attention. Society makes it seem like anyone can rise from poverty and that it is the matriarch's fault that black people have stayed in the system. The next controlling image I will be discussing is the welfare mother. It includes parts similar to both the matriarch and the mammy. Like the matriarch, she is stereotyped as a bad mother. However, she is viewed as not aggressive enough. Society assumes that black women are lazy and content on sitting around to collect welfare than passing down those bad qualities to their children. Along with that, society holds them to stereotypes of being unmarriable and untrustworthy um, of welfare. She represents the failed mammy and in conclusion, it blames black mothers for failing to pass on their work ethic and for failing to create a good family life, which then justifies black oppression. The next controlling image is the welfare queen, which is pretty similar to the welfare mother. The big difference is that the welfare mother is content with taking quote unquote hard earned American money. She also has a presence of kids with no father in the picture. She is viewed as highly materialistic, demeaning, and manless working class black woman. To society, she represents a moral and economic drain who is unworthy of welfare and most likely only having kids to get money, which then justifies her oppression. 
The next controlling image is the black lady. The black lady is a very successful professional business type woman. However, society believes she's too assertive. Since she competes with men for jobs, she is less feminine. And because she works a job that is all-consuming, she has no time for men and has completely forgotten how to treat them. So um, they become unmarriable as well. Along with that, because of affirmative action, the black lady is taking jobs from people that are supposedly more qualified, which is often viewed as reverse racism. Lastly, not only is she taking jobs from um, white people, but she's also taking jobs from black men who also believe that they are more qualified. With all of this together, society is able to justify exclusion towards the so-called over-threatening black lady. The last two controlling images that I will talk about um, will be together since they're pretty similar. They are the Jezebel and the Hoochie. These images were made in effort to control black women's sexuality. They represent the deviant black female sexuality. The Jezebel originated back to slavery. Um, it was made to make black women seem like sexually aggressive people to rationalize the widespread of sexual assaults by white men. In other words, if black women could be viewed as having excessive sexual appetite, then increased fertility should have been nothing out of the norm. The hoochie is a modern-day sexually aggressive woman. It is also used a lot in pop culture. Basically, it is used to describe a whore, and these women are stereotyped to be gold diggers and assume that they are just looking to get knocked up by athletes or other rich men. These women are then made out to be freaks in society, and their desire to have sex makes them more um, masculine since only men can openly have the desire to have sex in our society. The influence that media and pop culture have on controlling images is huge, especially in the era, era that we are living in now and how fast content can spread. Schools, news, media, and the government agencies are constantly reproducing, promoting, and confirming these controlling images. In conclusion, these controlling images are just going to keep getting worse and confirmed with the use of media and that will result in the justification of exploiting, excluding, and, ex and oppressing black women unless we can find positive ways to show and view black women in our society. And lastly, here's my work cited, um, and that's all I have. Thank you.